I teach an intro to PC applications class. We cover Word and Excel and PowerPoint in that order. When we get to PowerPoint, one of the assignments that I require of my students is a presentation on a topic that we covered in Word or Excel. Now, I already have a list of these topics and I randomly assign them to the students. So keep watching and I'll show you how I do this in Excel. It's really cool. In my spreadsheet, I have a couple of columns already set up. I have my student name, and then I have the assigned topic that I'm going to randomly assign. In another worksheet, I have the list of topics here. Now, I have named this range for the topics. If I select this range, you'll see in my named box, it's called assigned. I like to use a named range within a formula sometimes. It's just a little bit easier. So back in my class spreadsheet, notice I have this blank column right here. So in order to be able to set up our formula where we can randomly assign a topic, I need a column that's going to have some random numbers. And I can do this with the random function in Excel. So all I'm going to do is type in equal rand, and that returns a random number. And I'm just going to open close parentheses and it'll assign a random number. It doesn't have to be within a particular range. And I am going to copy this down. Okay, so that's the first thing that we need to do. Okay, so now to actually randomly assign a topic, I'm gonna to use a couple of formulas that are gonna be nested, the index formula and the rank.eq. I will start with index, and that returns a value or reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and column. So basically what is going to happen here is index is going to look over here in this random column and rank these numbers. Open parentheses. Now I'm using this one right here where we're looking for a reference. This is the reference to what I want indexed and I want my topics indexed. Now remember, I gave that range a name and I named it assigned. So if I start typing in assigned, it shows me my named ranges. It's right there and I can just double click on it and it puts it into my formula. Now, the formula that I'm gonna nest into the index formula is rank.eq. Now that returns the rank of a number in a list of numbers. So what's the number that I want to input here? Well, that's gonna be this random number that I already have here in column B2. So I'm gonna reference B2. Now where is the range that I want ranked? And that is this range right here, B2 through B22 for this example. I'm going to close parentheses and then do my final close parentheses and this is what my formula will look like. So now I'm just going to go ahead and copy this down. Uh-oh, what happened with the formula here? We have some duplicates. Let's go back and take a look at this formula. So one of the things that I forgot to do is right here for my range B2 through B22 I want to make this an absolute formula, so I need dollar signs in front of the row and the column reference. And on my keyboard, I'm just going to hit F4, and it automatically does that. Come over here to B2, and it does that. Okay, now let me go ahead and copy this down again. Now I'm not going to see any duplicates. One of the things, though, because this is a random column, these numbers, every time I hit enter or do something, it's gonna regenerate this list and I don't want that to happen. So what I can do here is take this list, copy it, and then I'm just gonna paste values. And then I'll just get rid of the original list and move this over. And you can hide this column, column B, 
or once you've copied the values, you could go ahead and get rid of it. If I just hide it, I just right click and hide that column. Now I've assigned random topics to my students. So if they complain, I can just tell them it was Excel. So that was pretty cool to do, but you know what's even more cool is if you record this as a macro and then do this in front of the students. They really get a kick out of this. I always like to create a copy of my worksheet just in case. So what you wanna do is record all of your steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that formula. I'm gonna go ahead, I still have my random a formula in here, but I'm going to go ahead and hide this column so the students don't see that. So this is where I'm going to start recording from. Now down here on your status bar in the lower left hand corner is you can click on this icon right here to start recording your macro or if you go to the view tab on your ribbon you have macros and we can record macro. So from either way let me go down here and I'm, I'm going to name this macro and I'll just name it random assign and click OK and now it's going to start recording all of my steps. Now once I've gone through all the steps I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. And now let's test this out. Let me get rid of what I have here. I'm going to start in cell C2 on my View tab, Macros, View Macros. Here's my random assign, and let's run it. And even though, even if you make some mistakes when you're recording the macro, that's okay. I would keep going ahead with what you were doing. Simply make those corrections, keep going. Because when the macro runs, it runs so quickly that you don't even see all those mistakes happen. Here's something that's even more cool. We have cool and even more cool. So I have hiding over here. Here's, here's an image. So, you know, I always tell my students, this is like drawing a name from a hat. So I'm going to assign the macro to this image. So if I right click on this image, assign macro, I'm going to click on my macro here and OK. So you do have to make sure that you start where you started when you recorded the macro. Now I'm going to come over here to my image that I've assigned the macro to. Click on that. That is super impressive in the classroom. As you can see, I use this in a classroom setting, but you could easily do the same thing if you're wanting to randomly give out assignments on a team at work, or maybe you have a list of chores that you want to randomly assign to members of the household. There's just a lot of cool things that you can do with this. As always, thank you for watching, and I would love for you to click on that subscribe button below. See you in the next video.